And I want to shift to Gonzaga. So Gonzaga is 26-0 entering the 2021 NCAA tournament. They're a huge favorite, and they've had a great year, no doubt about it. Mark Few, to me, is a really good head coach. Jalen Suggs is arguably their best player. He's probably going to be a lottery pick. And Gonzaga is looking to be the first team since 1976 to run the table and win it all. And what I mean by that? What I mean by that is be an undefeated national champion. But folks, I am here to tell you right now today that Gonzaga, for one, will not win it all this year. But I'm also here to tell you why Gonzaga will not be winning national titles anytime soon. Let's start with this year in 2021. Do you know how hard it is to go undefeated for an entire season? Folks, there is a reason this is only this has not happened since 1976. Folks, we're in 2021 currently. That was decades ago that a team ran the table and won it all in the regular season. Upsets in March Madness happen all the time. Gonzaga is bound to have at least one bad night. They're bound to maybe have a night where they're playing good, but the opposing team is hotter and plays better, and they outplay them, okay? It's bound to happen. And there's a lot of good teams in this tournament. Iowa's good. Illinois is really good. Baylor's loaded. Michigan's loaded. Even teams like Alabama and LSU, they're known as football schools. They're really good this year. Not all those teams are in, um, what's it called, Gonzaga's bracket. But the point I'm trying to make is, don't act like this is going to be a pushover for Gonzaga and that they're going to just cakewalk their way to the Final Four or the National Championship. And by the way, back in 2015, the Kentucky Wildcats were 38-0 and heading into the Final Four, and what happened? They lost, okay? And that team had Carl Anthony Towns and Devin Booker on it, two of the top 20 players in the world. I'm sorry, but that, that Kentucky team was much more talented and much more athletic and much more better and more dominant than this Gonzaga team. And I'm sorry, Jalen Suggs, you're a good player, but you're not Devin Booker. You're not Carl Anthony Towns, at least. You haven't proven to be up to this point, okay? And here's the biggest reason why I never buy into Gonzaga year in and year out as a true national title contender. The biggest reason is because Gonzaga, for the most part, plays in a conference that builds them up as a huge front runner, people. Gonzaga does not play in the ACC, where there are 8 to 10 good teams every single year. The ACC is still the best conference in all college basketball. Gonzaga does not play in the Big Ten, where this year there are about 7 to 8 good teams, okay? Gonzaga plays in the West Coast Conference. The best team in that conference is is BYU, who's an above-average team. But I'm sorry, outside of BYU, you're playing Pacific, you're playing Santa Clara, you're playing St. Mary's, you're playing San Francisco and Portland and San Diego. Look, not trying to dog these programs too much, but I'm sorry, when you're playing against teams like San Francisco, Portland, San Diego, and Pacific and Santa Clara in your conference year in and year out, that does not build you up and get you prepared for the big dogs like North Carolina, like Duke, like Kentucky. I know those teams are not in the tournament this year, minus North Carolina, but the point I'm trying to make is Gonzaga doesn't get tested all that often. They're playing a bunch of cupcakes. They're playing against a, a, bu against a bunch of teams that have no business trying to compete with them. Gonzaga is ten to five is five to ten times better than all the teams in their conference. What does that mean? They build up these they build up these wins in the regular season, and then when it comes postseason time, when they see the big boys, 
They fall under pressure. I know Gonzaga beat Kansas this year. They beat Baylor this year. They beat Iowa this year. They beat West Virginia. They beat Virginia. I get it. But I got to see it to believe it in tournament time. Until Gonzaga proves to me they can go through the big dogs in the NCAA tournament, I'm not picking them to win it all. And this year, they're doomed and bound to at least have one bad game. Or a game where a team outperforms them. So I'm sorry, people. I'm not buying into the Gonzaga Kool-Aid and the Gonzaga hype. Gonzaga, to me, has always been a front-runner. They will always be a front-runner to me until proven otherwise in the NCAA tournament when it matters most. I don't believe in Gonzaga, and they will not be winning national titles at any point going forward anytime soon. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Please also note that the Juice Alert Sports Podcast is not just a YouTube channel. It is available on all podcasting platforms, including Spotify, Google Podcasts, iTunes, and Apple Podcasts. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this content with all your friends. This podcast is my favorite thing in the entire world right now. It is my passion. And I want more people to listen to this podcast. I really want this podcast to grow. Also, a fun fact about me is that I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. I am looking to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. And I potentially would like to start my own network if this podcast really truly grows. Or if I fall short of that goal, I would love to work for a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. I am open to all networks. So if you believe in my dreams and you see or hear my passion through the screen, be sure to tell all your friends about the Juice Alert Sports Podcast. Stay motivated, you guys. Have a God-blessed day, and I'm out.